Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. I heard it. Grievous means hard. God is saying, keep my commandments, and it's not hard to do. Yeah, if right. it was hard, I wouldn't have gave it to you. That's right. right. Bring it out. Christ kept it. You believe in Jesus Christ, don't you? Y'all, you don't know who Jesus Christ is. Be still. Be still. We're going to show you who Jesus Christ is. So, as I was saying, his commandments is not hard. Now, the sister say she honestly don't know who Jesus Christ is. Okay. Let us show you who Jesus Christ is. Because I know you got this image in your head. He, he got, you, you, you've been seeing all these posters around, right? No, I know it's a higher power. I, don't, I know it's a higher power. I don't believe in none of the images or nothing like that. I know okay. it's a higher power. Okay. I got you. I believe that it's a woman. You believe it's a woman? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I understand. We, that's what we out here for. We out here to edify. A lot of people believe that. A lot of people believe it's the earth. Mother Earth. I've been explaining to you. Did you actually, in this, in the Holy Bible, book been around before your mama was born, your great grandma, your great great grandma was even born, this book was already written. But Our who, forefathers written it. But who wrote it? Who wrote the magazines? Uh, who wrote the okay, newspaper? I never read the, I never but read I'm saying, the who wrote the newspaper? Let me ask you something. Do, let's be honest now. Okay. Come on. Who wrote the newspaper? The white man. Do you believe the newspaper? If you see a person get shot down on the street with your own eyes, is in the newspaper? Do you believe? My own life experiences and gain knowledge and wisdom, and I speak to my ancestors and. Okay, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something you never heard before. Hold on. I'm gonna show you something you never heard before. Read the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 22. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, "Ye men of Athens, I." For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship. Him declare I unto you. Gotta get from the top. Then Paul stood in the midst. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. You're superstitious. You believe a whole lot of stuff. But the actual fact of the matter is, is what we telling you is actually written and documented. But you but you 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 know why? Because we've been indoctrinated with so many lies and so many we've been carried about with every wind of doctrine. That's why you're superstitious. But I'm gonna show you that your superstition is gonna be confounded right now, right here today, because I'm gonna show you that the image of Christ is in the Bible. And it's real. Give me that. Everybody got their own. Uh, 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 uh. No. Different pictures. No, give me, give me, um, give me wrong, give me Romans three. Give me Romans three. Uh -uh. But this is what I'm gonna show you, sir. The thing is with us, we're not dealing with our emotions. Let's not deal with emotions. Let's not deal with emotions because you're a woman, you feel like a woman in power. I'm a man, I feel like the man in power. But we're gonna go on, thus says the Lord. Listen what I'm saying, sir. I'm gonna show you that we don't speak our own words. Read. The book of Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. For what if some did not believe? What if you don't believe? That's what he's saying. What if you don't believe this? What if you don't believe what we're saying? What if y'all don't believe what we're saying? What if you don't believe this? What if you don't believe the Bible is true? Let's see what's going to happen. Shall their unbelief make the word of God without effect? Should your unbelief, sis, make the word of God without effect? Just because you don't believe, is that going to affect the word of God? Read. God forbid 
No, no. Just because you don't believe, it ain't gonna change nothing. But what we here, we out here to edify. We ain't against you. We finna show you that we here to cast down every lie and every doctrine that's ever been put in your head. Bring it out. Give me that in the book of Revelation. Ready, finish it off. Yeah, like God be true, but every man a liar. Let all your superstitions be a lie. Everything you learn from man, everything you learn from this world, let it be a lie. But let the word of God be true. That's right. Let the word of God be true. So let's let's get all the things out of our head. Let's get out of here. Because you never heard, but that's the thing though. You never even heard the image of Christ is in the Bible. Tell the truth. No, answer the question. You never heard that Christ was even in the Bible. Let's be honest. Because I never heard. I was told nobody ever saw him. He was the spirit. Okay, but you never heard it, right or wrong. Am I right or wrong? You, you can say it. It ain't nothing to be scared. You're a woman, right? That's what you claim. Uh, 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 sir, you're going around it. Have you ever heard the image of, the image of Christ in the Bible? Yes or no? It's a simple yes or no answer. Have you ever heard that the image of Christ was in the Bible? Yes or no? Read. Uh -uh. Give me revelation. Give me revelation. Hold on. I'm finna explain to you. I'm finna explain to you. Hold on. Cause I know you never. I know you never read it. We hadn't read it. The book of Revelation. Give me one and one. Verse one, chapter one, verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Listen to this. Let me ask you something. Read this. Read this. The revelation of Jesus Christ. What does revelation mean? What's the root word in revelation? It's a word that was made up. No. So What's the root word in revelation? Word What's the root word of revelation? So if you want to talk about okay. it, you read. read which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Revelation, the root word in there is revealed. He, he finna show you what's finna come to pass. He finna reveal who he saw. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. Okay, so Christ's hand was white like wool. It was white like wool. You understand what I'm saying? His hair was white like wool. Now, hold on. Some of us never heard this before. Some of us, because we never read it before. We didn't even know it was in it. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was as a flame of fire. People get TV on their mind. When they hear that, no. He drunk wine in moderation. You understand what I'm saying? You got what I'm saying, sis? Read. And his feet like a two fine breath. They talking about his feet. Yeah. You can see his feet. You know, they had sandals on. It says his feet was like fine brass. But wait a minute. Not just any color brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. So his feet, his feet was dark like your, hey, sis. His feet was brown like your one. You understand what I'm saying? Read it up. That's what his feet was brown. Ready. Understand? That's in the New Testament. You can't get no newer than the New Testament. His feet was, he was black. He was a black man. Oh, That's God. the difference. Christ was a black man. And so was all the other forefathers. You mean they're back in Roman. The other, all the other forefathers. You superstitious, sis. You're going off a whole lot of things. Where did you get your doctrine from? So, you got a lot of questions. Let me ask you one question. You read books? Yes, a lot of books? Yes. I wouldn't say a lot. A lot, but you read. Yes. So you ask, you say, where does woman come from, right? Right? Let's get Genesis ch chapter 1. We're going to show you where man come from first, and then woman. Now, you may have read this before. You may have heard it. Maybe not. I'm sure you have, right? You follow the Bible? Watch this. Now, your sister says she don't. Now you, you, do you believe in the Bible? I wanted to say something. I'm going to give me one second. Don't, hey, listen, sis. Right. Don't forget your question. Hold your question, okay? Don't forget it. Watch this. You say it's science? It's Keep that. Remember what you said. It's science, right? You know what I'm going after that, right? Watch this. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 23. And Adam said, this now, bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. She shall be called what? Woman. Woman actually means from man. That's right. From man. That's what woman means. All right, read. Because she was taken out of man. Now,
Now, let's get where man come from. Watch this. You got it? Watch this. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Read up a little bit more what uh, Christ said. So let us make the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness read that again and God said who said I says who said this listen listen real good and God said God said let us make man in our image stop he said let us make man in our image so if God said let's make man in our image what that make man now a God. A God. That's right. We are gods on the earth, but we don't know that yet. Right, we got to be relearned. Retaught. Read. After our likeness. Yes. After our Come likeness. The same things, the, the same likeness God work. has. We have the same features, yes. same likeness. Read. Yes. And let them have dominion. And oh. Hold on. That also proves right then and there that God is a man. That's right. God is a man. We're going to prove that. Read. And let them have Dominion over the flesh of the sea and over the fowl of the air. Believe it or not, the Most High God gave us power and dominion over everything, but we lost it. We lost that. You know why? Because of sin. That's right. Because of sin. Now watch this. Now, um, I heard a statement earlier. I think it was you. Maybe you. One of y'all said that um, God is here right now is everywhere. You don't believe in the Bible, right? You, just, you said you don't believe in the Bible, right? Oh, that wasn't me. That wasn't you that was hurt. Yeah. You said you don't believe in the Bible. So, let me ask you. Do you believe what's going on right now? All these murders and shootings? You see that's happening, right? Yeah, but that's... What's that? That's us doing this. It, but explain why it's happening. Why is it happening? Yeah. Because we're being brainwashed. Our mental is it built up to the full... You ever heard of a term yeah. called prophecy? You ever heard of yeah. prophecy? Yeah. So, you don't believe in the Bible, right? Watch this. Let me ask you this question. We'll do the run. 28. How did our ancestors get to this side of the world? Because is we originally from this side of the world? No. Where are we from? Nah, I ain't gonna even say that. Oh, you know what? Let's dialogue. Since we out here, we're not the bash. We're here to teach Free. and edify. My question to you, I'm gonna get back to my soldier over here. My question to you is, where did our ancestors come from before they got here? Where? You answer. Where did they come from? Israel. Israel, where's that located at? What region? Africa. Space. Right? So, no, this is not space. What is it? Look up. What, what we gonna show, we'll show you what space is. What is it? And what you is said something about science, but hold on. Earth. Hold on, stay, uh, slow down, sis. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You gotta look at it at the so, you first you said that you don't believe in the Bible. Now, and I ask you, what's going on on Earth today? We have war with Chinese, Russians, everybody coming over here. Right? right? All types so why? Why? Did you? Because it's fucked up. It's prophecy. It's not prophecy. Let me ask you this since you know it all. Because it's how like you came over to teach us. What's going to happen to this earth? Yeah. What? Look. Look around. So you can't ask the question. What's going to, since let me ask you, what's going to happen to America? It's going to pass. America is pass how? Now you said it was. This is science, right? Give me what I wanted. Um, what's that? Read what you got. The book of First Timothy, chapter six and verse twenty. Oh Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings. Avoiding what? Profane. Profane. We got it says the Bible teaches us to avoid profane and profane what? And vain babblings. Sis, what you're doing right now is babbling. You you talking about something you don't even know what you're talking about. You babbling. Read. And oppositions of science. Oppositions of science. Read. Falsely. What? Falsely. What? Falsely. So called. Science is a white man philosophy. That's all it is. Read. Which some professing have heard concerning the faith. Grace be with thee. So, I'm going to edify you real quick. So, listen, look, you heard the baby here. Listen, say, again, how did our ancestors get to the side of the earth? You are. Answer the question. How did our forefathers and foremothers get to the side of the earth? Can you answer the question? It's not just one. I'm going to ask you one more time, and I'm going to leave you alone. How did our ancestors get to this side of the world? 
slavery happen? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes.